My name is Raul Fierro. I'm from Mexico, but I was raised in El Paso, El Paso, Texas. Yeah. First toy ever was a was a soccer ball. I remember when I was like four or five years old, that soccer ball was completely torn. Um, I remember the the panels on the other side of the ball were were gone. To be honest, I don't remember a single time in a single minute or single year, single day in my life that I did not feel love for soccer. I feel like the fa my favorite memories are not not necessarily in the field. I think my favorite memories are the the friendships, the the things that we did as as friends, as the brotherhood that that, that you create when you play in a team. Um, knowing that you know in the in the field you you fight for each other, it just connects you in a in a deeper way when you're not in the field, and just the memories that you make, the things that you do with them is things that you that you remember for the rest of your life. You know the the memories that 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 stay with you are, are those the the smallest ones the the things that nobody else sees nobody else sees right so i know a lot of my friends that play professional now yes everyone just sees the the light the the fame all the other stuff but for those players who who are able to, for, for those who are able to see those players behind the screen you know you can tell the same thing that their best memories are probably not the being in the light you know i think their best memories would be just living through through what it means to play. The biggest success that I remember and, and I love the most is being able to be there. Being able to to be next to players like um, like Matt Hedges, like Mino Figueroa, like Mauro Diaz. You know, have coaches like, like Jose Mabasan, like Oscar Pareja. Just being able to, to experience things that when you look back, a lot of players are not able to, to experience that, you know? And, and I feel like whenever you're able to, to be in, those, in that environment, you as, as a player and even as a person, as a coach, you understand a lot of things that before you couldn't understand. And I feel like the, the higher the level that, that you're able to play, the better you become in terms of your coaching career later, right? That doesn't mean that just because you play at a high level, you're going to be a great coach, but you'll have a better understanding of how the game is supposed to be played, right? And that's something for me is my biggest success because that's what I use now. I remember I went to, to North Texas, the first practice, I see this guy that looks like, he looks like a guy, old, you know, like, he looks 29, 30 years old, right? He has, you know, what do you call the, the gray hairs? Yeah, gray hairs, right? Um, and think, th think in mind that North Texas, the second team of SC Dallas, is all 20 year olds, 21 year olds. No, it's all teenagers, right? They have like two, two twenty years, something. Like but the oldest guy was Anthony, so everyone would see him as, as the the more mature guy, the more mature, I guess like a captain, but without the captain band. And halfway through through the season, he became one of our coaches, and just that transition from him being one of the most mature guys in the field to being a coach. It was a smooth transition because you know when when you're in a team and you get a, a, a teammate that becomes that later becomes your assistant coach, sometimes there's not that level of of respect I would say that you would have for someone that never played with you, for example. But when Anthony did that, when Anthony became an assistant coach, it was just a smooth transition because he never be, he never wanted to be someone he, that that he was not ready to be. I remember one time he came back, um, he came to, to a session and he told me that the, la the day before he had a lot of sessions that he had, um, private sessions. And that moment, that's I think what took us from just being in that team 
and known, known each other from the team to being friends outside, outside of the club. Because after we started talking about that, I started learning with him, I started going to his private sessions with him and learning how he would do those things and that's what helped me become who I am now. Um, but in that moment that he, he saw my interest in, in what he was doing, he started teaching me and teaching me and teaching me this stuff that started creating this bond that when I stopped playing and he stopped playing, he started his club. And for the next two months, I spent driving from Frisco all the way to Colorado just to learn from him. So that tells you how much I wanted to learn from him, right? That's what, what really connected us after. Right, the private training, me wanting to be a coach, and him being be him being in that platform already, you know, having the Lincoln team, looking for coaches, and I was like, to advice for the coming generation, I would say, do not try to do everything so fast. Be patient. Um, it doesn't happen from from one day to the next. It's a constant battle against yourself, against other teams, against other people, people who are not going to believe in you, people who are just not, you know, they, they, they can't do something themselves and they'll try to tell you that you can't do it. And I would say that if you have that dream, go after it as hard as you can. Don't give up, you know, play as, as far as you can. If that means playing all the way till you graduate college, then do it, right? If that means after high school, then play after high school. And that means that after college, you go and play lower leagues or professional or somewhere else, right? Just do it, right? Because you only live your life once. Try it, go at it. And if, and if you fail, you know, at least you learned valuable lessons that if you, if, if you look at it in a positive way, you know, it's, and if you make it, be able to to live the rest of your life saying that you that you play professional. You know, you play as much as you can, and whenever that day comes where you have to hang your cleats, you know, do it with a smile.